Good morning everyone, uh, it's Mr Cunningham here for another daily sporty video. Today we've got a couple of minutes of fitness for you to do, some of it with a ball and some of it without a ball. Then I'm going to be showing you some football skills, starting easy and then progressing to slightly harder ones and then finishing with a fun sporty game. Good luck! Today we are practicing three fitness exercises and three ball skills using a circuit. Our circuit starts and finishes at the blue cone here. Each time we complete an exercise or skill, we should move to the red cone behind us and back. First of all, we're going to do corkscrews. Corkscrews is putting your hands on the floor, knees in front, and moving and flexing your hips so they touch the ground on each move. Once we've done that, we can move around the red cone and back up for our next exercise, which is going to be skateboards. Skateboards, we flick the ball behind our body using a skateboard action. Okay, we're going to use both feet on this one. It's a very simple football skill. Moving the ball back like we're riding a skateboard. Again, we move back behind the red cone and back up to the blue. Third one, spotty dogs. We need to start in this position. And what we're going to do is jump and switch our legs on each move. As you get better at it, you can go a little bit faster. Again, moving back behind the red cone, back up for our next exercise, which is clap and catch. Clap and catch, throw the ball in the air, clap and catch. As you get good at it, adding some more claps, and so on. Moving back. Moving up for the next one, which is squat jumps. For squat jumps, we're gonna bend down, jump up, and land with a soft landing. Each time we land, we're going to land with our knees bent. Moving back again. Back up for knee ups. We use our ball, we start with one knee up. If you're good at it, you can move to two, and so on up to three, and onwards from there. Please like and share our page on Facebook at Sport for Schools. Good luck. Today we're doing football skills. I'm going to be setting you different levels to try and achieve. I'm going to start with level one, which is going to be the easiest, and we're going to progress up to level six, which is going to be the hardest. Level one, two, and three are going to be aimed at key stage one children, and levels four, five, and six at older key stage two children. Level one, toe taps between your feet. So pop your ball on the floor, and what you're going to look to do is you're going to look to pass the ball between the insides of your feet. Get this going a bit quicker by getting on a bit of a jog. Keep your head over the ball, keep your eyes on the ball and see how quickly you can end up doing toe taps between your feet. Level two, low drop traps. Practice dropping the ball on the floor and putting your foot on it to trap it, something like this. Level three, single, double and triple knee catches. So throw the ball up, get it to land just on the top here, just before your knee and catch it. That's the single. There's the double, two. And there's the triple, three. Level four, high traps. A bit like the drop traps, but we're gonna throw the ball high in the air. So something like this, one on our right foot, one on our left, here we go. So there's the right. And there's the left. Level five, double combos. Using two parts of our body to get the ball back up into our hands. Here are some, maybe you could come up with some of your own as well. First one, knee foot. Second one, foot knee. Third one, head foot. Fourth one, head knee. And finally, number six, triple combos, using three different parts of your body to get the ball back up into your hands. First one, knee, knee, foot. Second one, knee, foot, knee. Third one, head, knee, foot. 
Good luck with those. And a bonus seventh round for all footballers who have completed all of those six skills. This last one's called a scoop. Ball on the ground, you have to scoop your foot up under the ball, lift your knee up and try and catch the ball. Something like this, under, scoop, catch. Welcome to today's 40 video. Today I'm going to be throwing tennis balls at cones. I've got five different coloured cones and five tennis balls. I'm about two metres away from the furthest cone and just over a metre from the closest. So I'm going to call out the cones and if I hit them I get to turn them over see how many points I can get out of five. Okay, so look to throw the ball, I think, down from your nose. is probably the easiest way of doing it. So blue. So hit that one. So I get to turn it over. Yellow. And again, if you hit it, you get to turn it over. White. Again, hit that. So turn it over. Two trickier ones a little bit further away now. Orange. Again, spin it over if you hit it. And finally, red. So I missed the red one. Can't turn that one over. So I scored four out of five. How many can you get? To make the game a bit harder, you could use a smaller ball or move a, a longer distance away from the targets. To make the game easier, come closer to the targets or use a bigger ball. Follow us at Sport for Schools on Facebook or Sport for Schools Kent on Instagram. Well done with today's sporty video boys and girls. Hope you had a go at the warm-up, the football skills and the target throwing game. Look forward to doing another video for you tomorrow.